Today's picks and videos are brought thanks to King and Kira Ossicats. The Ossicat is a domestic cat breed that resembles a wild cat, but has no wild DNA in its gene pool. It is named for its resemblance to the ocelot. The first breeder of Ossicats was Virginia Daly of Berkeley, Michigan, who attempted to breed an Abyssinian pointed Siamese in 1964. The Ossicat result of a cross between a ruddy Abyssinian male and a seal point Siamese female. The first generation of kittens appeared Abyssinian, but the result in the second generation was not only the Abyssinian pointed Siamese, but also an ivory kitten with gold spots, nicknamed an Ossicat by the breeder's daughter. The kitten, named Tonga, was beautiful, but he was not what Daly was looking for. When the Detroit newspaper publicized the lovely spotted cat, noted geneticist Dr. Clyde Keeler took an interest in an ocelot-looking cat. He wanted to see a domestic cat that could resemble some of the vanishing wild cats, specifically the Egyptian spotted fishing cat. With this in mind, the breeding was repeated, and the ocelot breed was truly born. The first official Ossicat was named Dalai Dotson and was registered with the Cat Fanciers Association in 1966. American shorthairs were also added to the original crosses, due to an error in the Cat Fanciers Association, recording of the breeds used. The inclusion of American shorthairs in the foundation ultimately led to a larger size and added silver to the list of previously existing colors. CFA granted the Ossicat provisional status in 1986. In 1987, both CFA and Tika granted Ossicat's championship status. The Ossicat is a cat breed with substantial bone and muscle development, yet with an athletic appearance, and should have surprising weight for the size. Ossicat's head is carried gracefully on an arching neck. The skull is a modified wedge showing a slight curve from muzzle to cheek, with a visible, but gentle, rise from the bridge of the nose to the brow. The muzzle is broad and well-defined with a suggestion of squareness. Their eyes are large and almond-shaped. These may be of any color except blue, and there is no correspondence between eye color and coat color. Their ears are alert, moderately large, usually set at a 45-degree angle, neither too high nor too low. Legs should be of good substance and well-muscled, medium-long, powerful, and in proportion to the body. Feet are oval and compact, with five toes in front and four in back. The tail is fairly long, medium-slim with only a slight taper and a dark tip. Their coat's texture is short, smooth, satiny with a lustrous sheen, tight, clothesline, and sleek, yet long enough to accommodate the necessary bands of color. Within the markings, hairs are tipped with a darker color while hairs in the ground color are tipped with a lighter color. All hairs except the tip of the tail are banded. Twelve variations in color are approved by most registries, including the Cat Fanciers Association. The standard for the Ossicat breed is tawny, chocolate, cinnamon, their dilutes, blue, lavender, and fawn, as well as black or ebony silver, chocolate silver, cinnamon silver, blue silver, lavender silver, and fawn silver. While the lightest color is usually found on the face around the eyes, the chin, and the lower jaw, the darkest color is found on the tip of the tail. Ossicats are medium to large cats. Females weigh from 6 to 9 pounds, from 3 to 4 kilograms on average, and males from 9 to 15 pounds, from 4 to 7 kilograms. Ossicats have a life expectancy of 12 to 18 years. The required level of physical activity is medium to high. The Ossicat's short coat requires little grooming. Brush them weekly to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. The rest is basic care. Trim their nails as needed and check their ears every week for redness or a bad smell that could indicate an infection. A scratching post or cardboard scratcher will help keep the nails healthy while saving your furniture. If the ears look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball, dampened with a gentle ear cleanser recommended by your veterinarian. Start brushing and nail trimming early, so your kitten becomes accepting of this activity. They are an active breed and require a good deal of space and plenty of toys and diversions to keep them occupied.
If possible, provide them with tall cat trees that encourage climbing and access to outside views. Toys can also help channel an cat's wild energy into playing. Even after they mature, around one year of age, they remain playful and active. The intelligent, high-energy cat might also enjoy exploring the outdoors safely. Ossicats are one of the few breeds often described as that of a dog in a cat's body. Most are eager to learn tricks and skills, so can be trained to fetch, walk on a leash and harness, come when called, sit, lie down on command, and do other canine-style tricks. If you know someone who thinks cats are unfriendly and independent, introduce him to the Ossicat. Ossicats may look like they walk on the wild side, but are adaptable, curious, playful, and devoted to their human companions. Although Ossicats tend to bond with only one person and prefer that person's company, they remain affectionate to others in the household. Ossicats have inherited personality traits from both Siamese and Abyssinians. They will often greet your guests and are friendly and sociable. Although Ossicats require more attention than most breeds since they love to get involved with whatever is happening, they are also happy to snuggle when it is nap time. They get along well with respectful children and appreciate an animal companion to keep them company, if left alone for any length of time. Like their Siamese ancestors, Ossicats are vocal, but not annoyingly so. They want to tell you about their day when you come home. However, because they are a vocal breed, they are highly tuned to tone of voice, and harsh verbal reprimands can hurt their sensitive feelings. Ossicats are generally healthy and have a long lifespan, but they may inherit health problems that affect their parent breeds. These include liver or renal amyloidosis, pyruvate kinase deficiency, and hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Amyloidosis is a possibly hereditary disease that occurs when an insoluble protein, called amyloid, is deposited in organs such as the kidneys or liver. It results in lesions, dysfunction, and eventually, organ failure. Pyruvate kinase PK, is a key regulatory enzyme in the energy metabolism of red blood cells. Cats deficient in PK can develop anemia. Testing for PK deficiency and breeding away from it will eventually help to eliminate the disease from the breed. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy HCM, is the most common form of heart disease in cats. It causes thickening or hypertrophy of the heart muscle. An echocardiogram can confirm whether a cat has HCM. No one can guarantee that their cats will never develop HCM. Be sure to schedule regular checkups with your veterinarian to catch health issues before they become severe. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget that each new subscriber and positive comment motivates us to create more and better content. Thanks for watching.